By the way, if you're wondering what case I'm using for my Samsung Galaxy Note 9, I'm gonna drop the link down in the description box for you guys to go check it out. It's a fantastic case made by Samsung. All right, let's dive into the actual video. Hey guys, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I'm gonna give you all the tips, tricks, and features you need to know for your home screen, for your lock screen, and for your notifications panel on your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 so you can continue to master this device. Now this is the home screen, uh, this is the notifications panel and the quick toggles, and of course the lock screen is when you turn off your phone and go into the actual lock screen. So let's dive in and get started immediately. All right, so the very first thing I wanna talk about is the apps button at the bottom here. So you may or you may not have this, but it is in fact something you can enable or disable. So basically when you swipe up on the screen, it takes you into the app drawer, okay? Uh, and if you tap on the button, it also takes you into the app drawer. So as you can see, uh, the button actually becomes redundant unless you specifically need to use it. So if you want to disable that button and instead put an application there, like a shortcut, like one of these guys, uh, what you want to do is you want to press and hold on the screen, go into the home screen settings, and then over here it says apps button, you tap on it, and simply say hide apps button. Uh, when you click apply, you go back out, that apps button has disappeared, but you still have access to your apps just by swiping up, just by swiping up on the screen as you can see. Now of course, now you only have four apps, but you can add one more app here now because you have uh, space for five applications. So I can go back here, I can grab one of these guys, put it on the home screen, and boom, it's right there and you've got five apps instead of a redundant app drawer button. And the other very important thing is by default, when you swipe up or when you swipe down, it takes you into the app drawer. Uh, also, uh, in my case, what I did was when you swipe down, it does bring down the notifications panel. All right. So that's the option that I prefer to use. Again, if you don't have that enabled, you press and hold, uh, you tap on the home screen settings and choose this option that says quick open notification panel. So when you swipe down, the panel comes up instead of the actual app drawer. If I disable this, if I go back out, if I swipe up or down, I get the app drawer. But if I press and hold and go to the home screen settings, if I enable this guy, boom, you've got the notifications panel right there. Now, one quick thing I want to fix on the notifications panels is when you uh, pull the panel down, uh, there's a brightness slider over here that allows you to adjust the brightness of the smartphone. Now, by default, you don't see this here unless you pull it down one step further, such as this. So what you want to do is you want to tap on this little arrow and make sure show control on top is enabled. If I disable this and if I pull this down, you're not going to see that brightness slider, which is very convenient. So when you swipe down, uh, swipe down one more time, you can tap that arrow. You can say show control on top. You click done. And now when I pull down, boom, it's right there. And of course, one more thing I'm going to show you guys is uh, how to manage your home screen. Now, the basic things are if you uh, pinch the screen, uh, you get access to the home screens. You can add more home screens from here and you can add more widgets to it. Uh, as you can see, you've got the Bixby Home here that you can enable or disable. This is just a bunch of cards that feed you uh, up to date information and you can modify that, but that's completely separate. So I have it disabled right now. Uh, but with the home screens, uh, you can move. Normally what you would have to do is if you wanted to move this app from one home screen to the other, you have to go this and it's a painful task to grab five or 10 of these apps and move them over one by one. Now what you can do is if you press and hold on one of these uh, icons, you can say select items, you can tap on that, then you can start to select as many items as you want. And as you do that, you also get a menu on the top that says uninstall, remove from home, or create a folder, okay? So we're not gonna do that right now, but I'm gonna show you that in a minute too. Uh, let's say I wanna move all four of these guys from one home screen to the other. All I do is I press and hold, and now I got a collection of four items. I can move it over here, and I can dump it right there anywhere that I want. And of course, sometimes when you dump stuff on the screen, uh, you want to clean the screen. You can move them down again one by one or as a collection. But also what you can do is if you press and hold or pinch, press and hold or pinch, uh, you can tap this button, click apply, and all the apps get uh, dropped to the bottom. Okay. If you want them on the top, you can tap this button, click apply, they move to the top. 
Okay, I like them at the bottom, so let me do the bottom part. There we go. Now, let's say I want to grab all these guys and I want to put them in an actual folder. Again, all you do is press and hold, click Select Items, select the ones that you want to put in a folder, click Create Folder, and they all go into a folder. You can give it a name, let's just say random for now. And of course, you can give it, give it a color so you can color code your folders. So I can just say red and I can go like this. Now everything is in fact in a folder, a very easy way to dump things into a folder and move them around. Now one more thing you can do is if you go into the app drawer, you can do the same thing here. So I can press and hold, click select items, select all these guys, create a folder right here, or I can press and hold, grab the collection of five products, uh, uh, apps, and just uh, dump them right here. And again, if I want to clean it up, boom. All right, absolutely fantastic. So those are some of the home screen tactics that you simply need to know uh, to enhance your experience. Now let me talk about the notifications panel. Uh, and when I say notifi notifications panel, I'm not talking about this portion here that gives you notifications. I'm talking about the quick toggle settings over here on the top. Now there's a couple things that you don't see here but that are available. Uh, the first one is, for example, if you tap on the actual um, button, uh, uh, the icon, it toggles the option on or off, okay, as you can see. But if you tap on the actual uh, words, like here it says the Wi-Fi name, if you tap on that word, it expands that option and you get some more details from where you can manage it even more. And of course, you can tap on details that takes you into the actual settings screen. So again, I can do that with anything, and some of these things give you nice options. Uh, for example, the flashlight. Again, if I tap this, it turns on the flashlight. Flashlight turned on. Uh, but if I tap on the actual flashlight, it goes into the details. So from here, when I uh, access the flashlight, I can increase the brightness or decrease the brightness of the actual flashlight. Okay. And of course, when you want to exit this menu, you click Done. It takes you back into the Quick Toggles menu. Same thing with the power savings. If I tap on power savings, I get all these options. So these are absolutely fantastic. And the other thing I can do is I can press and hold on any one of these options anywhere. And that will take me into the actual settings for that quick toggle. Okay, so make sure you understand that if I want to go to the Wi-Fi settings, I can press and hold. It will take me into the detailed settings. All right, so there's so much going on here that it's uh, really hard to keep track of. Uh, other thing you can do, some of the, some of the basics, uh, if you tap the three dots over there, you can change the button order. So whatever is more important to you can come into the first position. Just drag and drop it just like that. Click Done. Uh, other thing you can do if you tap this, you can say change the button grid. So from here you can do three by three, so you only have three options, uh, easier to see. Or you can say button grid, do five by three, and you see more on the screen, so you get more options to play with. All right, so those are some of the important quick toggle settings in the notifications panel. Now, let's move on and talk about the actual lock screen. So obviously, this is the lock screen right here. Now, as you can see, I have a custom clock. I've got a signature at the bottom that says Socky Tech. And if I swipe over, I have a bunch of uh, uh, widgets, actually, that I can access. Uh, these widgets are not enabled by default, so let me show you how to do it. Uh, one more thing, you have the... Uh, uh, two shortcuts at the bottom here that is also customizable. Now let me go back in here. And also you can customize the way notifications appear on the lock screen. So let me talk about the notifications first. That's a nice little design. It's like, it looks nice and clean. I've got some mail, I see the weather, and I've got some notifications from my studio application. So let me go into the settings. Uh, go into the actual uh, lock screen. And from here what you want to do is you want to Scroll down to notifications, tap it, and here you have all these options. So uh, you have the option to hide content on the lock screen or only use icons as I'm using. So when I get a notification on the lock screen, all I see is one icon. If I disable that, I get a full notifications just like this. So if I go back into the lock screen right now, you'll see that I'll have full notifications, okay? And with those notifications, I can customize the transparency of the notifications. Now it's uh, much less transparent. So if I go back, it'll be nice and bold, easy to see. 
or I can make it invisible. Uh, just like that. Okay, so it's really up to you. Uh, what I like is, I like to see icons only, uh, but on top of that, you can hide or unhide content. As you can see, if I do it like this, it shows everything. If I hide content, it shows just a little bit. It tells you, you have a new message from a, from a certain app, but no more. But if you disable this, it's going to show you everything uh, of the notification, which is not too secure. So anyway, I like to hide the content and also do notification icons only. So that's a minimalist design right there. So that's that. Okay. Uh, other things uh, you can do, again, the face widgets. Uh, you have a music controller, today's schedule, next alarm and weather. And that's over here. Okay. Right over here. So that's the music controller. If you were playing a music, it would show up right here. Play, next track, previous track. Um, if I scroll over, that's the calendar. Uh, if I scroll over, that's the next alarm. And if I scroll over, that's the weather face widget. And again, all these guys are under settings and lock screen. So that's the face widgets. You can enable or disable them as you please. And also, uh, you can reorder them if you so desire. So let me go back out. And the other thing that I had outside was a signature that says Saki Tech. So click done, go back. And as you can see, it says Saki Tech at the bottom. And that's something you can modify from here. You can say anything that you want here, okay? Saki Tech, Saki, whatever. And then click uh, done and you are good to go. And finally, with the lock screen, you have access to the clock style. So if I go over here, you go to lock screen, and then you can pick all these different beautiful clock styles that you desire, okay? And then after you pick a clock style, you can go to the color. You can pick a color if you want as well, okay? Let's pick uh, something more that gives a little bit of contrast here. So blue, then you click done. You go back into the lock screen, and now you have a new clock. You got a, uh, you got a um, signature. You have icon notifications that look nice and clean. And you have two of the apps here that can go directly into the actual app when you do it like this, okay? And again, to modify those, go back into the actual lock screen, scroll down and tap on app shortcuts. And here are the two shortcuts. The left shortcut can be calculator. I'm gonna keep it like that. Let's change the right one. Let's say the right one takes us to the calendar. Okay, now when I go back out, I got calculator and calendar, and if I do this, boom, it takes me right into the actual calendar. All right, the final thing I'm gonna talk about has to do with the home screen. It's called the app icon badges. So if I tap this, uh, looks like I have one new uh, mail from Gmail, and the reason that I'm seeing that little dot, the one, uh, circle, and one, is because I have it enabled. So if you go to the home screen, and if you tap on home screen settings, you can go into app icon badges and you can disable or enable this. But at the bottom here, you have the option to show win number or just show as a tiny circle if you are a minimalist. So if I tap this now, anytime I get a notification from any app, messages, phone calls, text messages from any WhatsApp or whatever, I'll see that little dot instead of a circle with a number. Uh, the reason I like the circle with a number is it gives you, it tells you basically how many messages you do have uh, if you do get a notification or a missed call. So I like to keep it at show with number, and that's gonna show you a number when you get a message uh, or a phone call, okay? So that's fantastic as well. All right, so there's a couple final tips I wanna share with you guys. So when you pinch the screen again, and if you go to the home screen settings, uh, on the top you get a couple options. Now this one here is the home screen layout option. If you tap on this one, what you can do is you can get rid of the actual app drawer completely and have instead a complete home screen with apps on it much like an iPhone so you can tap on home screen only and then all the apps are going to get dumped onto the actual home screen I'm not going to apply it because if I do apply it I'm going to lose uh, my current home screen settings okay so if you don't want an app drawer like this what you can do is you can go to the home screen settings go to home screen layout and choose home screen only foregoing the apps screen. Okay, it's just another way to customize the interface. Now this one is the home screen grid. You can tap on this one. You can have a bigger grid so you can uh, fit more applications into it. Or if you want to see things better, you can do a four by five grid. Okay, so you can, uh, you'll, it's gonna be 
uh, five apps this way, four apps this way. If you do this one, you'll have six apps this way, five apps this way. All right, so this is gonna give you the maximum uh, amount of apps you can have on a screen. So that's the grid. You can do the same thing with the actual app screen. Uh, I like to keep it at maximum so you can have as many apps as I, I can in one screen, but you can go like this if you want to. Okay, so you see more, uh, but you get less on the screen. And that's basically everything that you need to know over here. Okay, you can tap on this button here also, and you can hide the applications you do not want to see. Uh, this only applies to applications you cannot uninstall. You can just hide them, and then they're not going to take any space. Okay, things are going to look nice and clean. All right, so that was the final tactic. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, let me know down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come. And finally, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.